There's several reasons why we're excited about tearing down the test lab. And when I say tearing down the test lab, this isn't going to fold all the walls going outward and it's going to be gone. But the, uh, the, uh, the nine four by eight sections we have built up in here are going to come out, and uh, which is signaling the end of this experiment and the beginning of another. And we're really excited at the end to be able to get a chance to peer inside the walls. One of the main reasons we're doing the experiments that we are doing in the mobile test lab is instead of talking more about how best to do things, let's do a study that helps people understand what the potential ramifications are for doing less than the best. In terms of simulated wall sections in this lab, this setup we have now, from no exterior installation, which is a pretty common thing for a lot of homes in Fairbanks, to a little bit, to a medium amount, <laughs> to a whole lot. And because we vary that amount, we're able then to understand a lot better um, what might be happening in the homes where people don't follow the best practices. And there's all these, you have to be careful, there's all these sensor wires dangling all around you like a spider web. The vapor barrier, this plastic sheet, you can just see the tail end of it here, is continuous all behind this gypsum wall board. But for that, since there's an electrical outlet behind there, you had to cut out a hole for that to be where it needed to be. And we didn't seal around that. So in terms of if this room was being pressurized, that would be a preferential pathway for the air to get past that vapor barrier and into the fiberglass and into the wall. The idea was to make it as realistic as possible. So nobody's house is really controlled to 70 degrees and it's always 70 degrees. It's, you know, it's a little less, it's a little more, it fluctuates. And humidity is the same, it fluctuates. Most houses in Fairbanks, the humidity is not regulated at all. It's By the end of this experiment, when we're done tearing down, this should help us um, inform homeowners better.